What's up, flamethrowers? It's me, Flame the Dragon Hog here, and welcome to another installment of Best of. You guys know what I, you guys know the videos. It's where I go through all my favorite Sonic channels, and I talk about some of my favorite videos from them. I really, really don't like talking about this because of what's going on in my world, but I still love his videos, and I'm talking about the one, the only, Silver the Hedgehog. Yep, that's right. I'm talking about Silver the Hedgehog. Because let me just tell you, Silver, he really does make some funny videos. I'm not going to lie. Some of his videos is a little bit serious. Others can be really cool and stuff. But they can be really nice. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Silver, he is really cool and all. I mean, don't get me wrong. I am a huge fan of Silver the Hedgehog. He is absolutely amazing. And, if you guys haven't seen the Valentine's Day episode, he sorta, kinda gave Blaze a, uh, engagement ring, I guess, or a friendship ring, I guess, I don't know. Because everybody knows the routine of a friendship ring. Soon the friendship ring turns into a promise ring, the promise ring turns into an engagement ring, and soon the engagement ring turns into a wedding ring. <laughs> I guess it's only a matter of time before Silver pops the question to Blaze. But anyway, but anyway, I've been scrolling around his channel, picking, uh, picking through some of the best videos that I have seen, and I want to talk to you guys about them. Some of them are a little bit wholesome and stuff, so yeah, anyway, let us begin. Now, if you guys want to see more of these, please hit that like button, and let me know in the comments down below, um, which video do you, did you guys think was the best? Also, let me know in the comments down below if there's any other Sonic Tuber did you guys want me to look at and pick out some of my favorite videos from them. Also, one other thing, guys. Be also one other thing, guys. If you guys are not already subscribed to Silver, I will put a link down in the description below so that way you guys can check out these videos for yourself. Anyway, so without further ado, let us begin. All right, so the first video we have here is, oh boy, this was when Silver run, this was, in, this was when Silver went to Rouge's house to go hang out with both her and Sally. Now, let me just say, things got a little bit weird because, you know, <laughs> Silver, he actually was not expecting to have Sally there. But he thought it was just going to be him and Rouge. Don't even think about it, guys. Nobody is shipping Rouge and Silver. Because trust me, I talked to Rouge. She is not interested in Silver. And anyway, she performed. Not that there's anything wrong with Silver. But anyway, um, there is something that's <laughs> bothering me, though. It's like, why the world would they... I mean, why the world would Sally and Rouge ask Silver to join their, like, their girls' night? I don't really know. But all I know is, is that things got a little bit weird. But anyway, yeah, this video was definitely pretty funny. And plus, not to mention, guys, Silver has been spending a lot of time with Sally a whole lot. Ever since she, uh, yeah, ever since she came in. But anyway, uh, let's move on to the next video. Okay, here's another funny video. This was when Silver, this was when Silver told Blaze about his werehog form, and then he accidentally turned into it, and let's just say she was all over him. Yep, this was when Silver showed Blaze his werehog form, and like I said, she was all over him. I don't know what the heck is into these girls when it comes to the werehog form. I mean, is it like the fur or something? Because I honestly don't know. I mean, I have a werehog form, and my wife is completely overjoyed when she sees me in it i mean i don't know what it is but is it like the fur is it like the big buffness that we have i honestly don't know because amy she does the same thing when it comes to sonic uh werehog form <laughs> it's a shame that it's a shame that uh shadow doesn't have a werehog form well he does in this series but mine nah the only two people that have werehog forms is just me and sonic those are the only two that have werehog forms that's it Sorry, guys. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, Blaze, she really did like Silver. She really did like Silver's werehog form. Oh, yeah, uh, I almost forgot to mention this, guys. 
Um, after a few videos, Silver decided to change up the voice actor of Blaze because the original voice actor just stopped making videos. She was once Blaze the Cat. Now she now the person that's voicing both Sally is now voice is voicing Sally is now voicing Blaze. And I'm not gonna lie, she does a really, really great job voicing Blaze. I'm not gonna lie. She really, really does do a great job voicing Blaze. And Bolt Sally. I'm not gonna lie. She's really, really talented. <laughs> but anyway, but anyway, yeah. Uh, <laughs> from the look of this thumbnail, I see Blaze really, really likes Werehog Silver a whole lot. <laughs> and I don't know what the heck is up with girls always wanting to hug the people that's in the Werehog form. But anyway, let's move on to the next video. Okay, this one I think was when that other voice actor of Blaze changed. I think, but I, I can't remember. But anyway, this was when Silver went over to Blaze's house to take care of her because she wasn't feeling well. She was sick. And that's when Silver and Blaze just, you know, had their first kiss. <laughs> that was definitely a romantic moment. I mean, out of... I mean, out of all the hedgehogs there, Silver and Sonic, they're the most romantic. Shadow, on the other hand, in this universe, he's sort of kind of a simp. I mean, we all know that he's been simping after Rouge, even though that she's married, even though that she's married to, um, Knuckles, or has him, or has him as a boyfriend, I can't remember. But anyway, um, so yeah, this is definitely really, really crazy. Um, this is definitely a really, really cute video. I really enjoyed it. Plus, not to mention, it just showed how mature Silver is now. I mean, most people seem to think that Silver, he's not good enough for girls. But, nope, he's definitely awesome for girls now. I mean, he spent time with Blaze all these years. He spent time with Blaze all these years, so... Yeah, I mean, I don't blame him for actually, for actually going after her. I mean, she is a really hot woman. <laughs> Literally. Get it? Uh, okay, I'm stupid. I mean, don't blame me, Silver, because after all, I actually got with my version of Blaze, too. And let's just say both yours and mine are not too far apart. <laughs> Except mine actually is a mother, and yours is a, uh, you know. But anyway. But anyway. Um... But anyway, yeah, this video was definitely really cute and stuff, and it was just really, really adorable to see Silver just, just care for Blaze a whole lot. And that just shows how much she, he loves her so, so much. That's just like with me and Sarah, guys. It's just like with me and Sarah. Anyway, moving on to the next one. Okay, now this one was definitely really cute again. Okay, uh, here we have another Sylvaise moment, guys. It's when Silver and Blaze discuss their future. And because, you know, since they are a couple now, and they just want to know what the heck they're going to do in the future. They don't know what the heck they're going to do yet. Because honestly, because uh, honestly, you know, how it, you know how it is when you get a girlfriend and you're about to get married or something. I don't know. I don't know if they're about to get married, but... Um, you guys know how it is. Sometimes you have to make plans for the future, like, where are you going to live? What jobs are you going to get? Uh, how are you going to make money? I know I just said that about the jobs. I don't care. Also, what about, also, what about the, your kids? Are you going to get married? Or how many kids are you going to have? What schools are they going to go to? That's basically what the heck they were talking about. Well, minus the kids thing, because I honestly don't know if they are ready for kids yet. <laughs> They're not even married yet. <laughs> but anyway, um, but anyway, uh, yeah, Silver and Blaze, that's what they were doing. They were discussing their future, so I honestly don't know, uh, what the heck they are going to be doing for the future. I don't know what the heck they're going to do. I really don't know what the heck they're going to be doing for the future, but it's just a few things that they were talking about, because I honestly don't know what the heck they are going to be doing. Uh, sorry guys, I was rubbing my nose. It itches. But anyway, um, yeah, I honestly don't know what the heck Silver and Blaze are gonna be doing, but we'll just find out, because after that Valentine's Day video, I got the feeling things really got serious. I got the feeling things really, really got serious. <laughs> yeah, things really, really got serious, because I was really expecting for Blaze to, uh, you know, get engaged to Silver. 
I was really, really expecting that. But I guess we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. We're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Because, again, I honestly don't know if that big day is going to be happening. But it would be kind of nice, though. <laughs> okay, but anyway, let's move on to the next one. Okay, this one was definitely a uh, really uh, interesting one. You see, Silver, he was sick in bed. And, of course... And, of course, luckily he had friends that can help him. He had friends that can help him. And, of course, he relied on both Sally and Blaze to take care of him. I mean, doesn't it just hurt you guys to see your friend sick? So, clearly, so clearly, Blaze and Sally, they really cared for him the most. They really cared for him the most. So, yeah. I mean, it is really nice for him to have, like, lady friends that take such good care of him. I mean, I honestly doubt if, you know, Silver, I mean, I highly doubt if Shadow or Sonic was going to take care of him because, you know, they both had their own things to do. And plus, not to mention, like I said, uh, Shadow, he really does, he really doesn't like Silver like that. He really doesn't like him. But it is really nice to have, you know, Blaze and Sally take good care of him because they've been with Silver the longest. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Silver, I was really hoping that you would get well soon during this video. And what do you know? You did. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, Silver, it really did hurt me to see you like that. But, again, I know that I knew that you would feel better. You always, you always will feel better. But, anyway, let's move on to the next one. Oh boy, this one was a little bit scary. This is sort of like part two of what happened during a previous video. This was, this was like part two of what happened after um, Silver, he went dark form on a different version of Shadow and nearly attacked everybody, including Blaze. Yeah, I know what you're, yeah, I know it's crazy. But anyway, but anyway, yeah, that was like when he really wasn't really used to dark form. But anyway, after that, after that little tragedy, he started busting out crying and stuff, and he just ran off, and he just went to go find somebody that can understand him, and so he went to go find Sally. Sally, he, she really understood him, so she comforted him for a uh, little while, and I really did feel bad for Silver then. I mean, he literally... I mean, he was upset at Shadow, but because because Dark Form is a really, really hard to control form, he ended up attacking the one that he loved. I really did feel bad for him. I mean, Dark Form, I trust me, I know how Dark Form is, because I even have a hard time trying to control mine. I really do have a hard time trying to control my Dark Form, so yeah, it's just really, really hard. It's really, really hard. And sometimes I even ended up hurting the people that I love sometimes. But I really do got to be careful with it because one of these days, if I really go off the handle and I turn into dark form, I might end up not only hurting them, but I hate to, I hate to think about it, but killing them. I really don't want to do that. I really don't want to do that. Anyway... Let's just move on to the next video before I let's move on to the next one because before I start crying in a few moments because I really don't want that. I know you guys don't want to see a 21 year old dragon hog crying. <sighs> okay, anyway. <sighs> okay, I'm cool. Let's just move on. Okay, speaking of dark forms. Okay, speaking of dark forms. In this video, Silver and Sally first meets Dark Sonic. Trust and believe me, they were actually surprised when they first meet Dark Sonic. You see, they were just chilling out on the beach. Then next thing you know, Silver, he said something to Sonic, which really triggered his dark form. And let's just say both him and Sally were not expecting that. They were not expecting for Sonic to get so mad, not to mention have a dark form. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, we all know how the heck Shad... We all know how the heck, um... Sonic's dark form works. It mainly works with a trigger. It mainly works with a trigger. Like you say something mean to him, or you make him just angry in general, or something, or you um, 
really hurt one of his friends or his family or something, yeah, let's just say it's definitely gonna trigger his dark form. Ugh. But anyway, let's just say Silver, again, he wasn't really expecting, you know, Sonic to have a dark form. Uh, wait, he never even expected to have him to see if he had a dark form in general. It was just crazy. But anyway, um, so yeah, they actually, so yeah, Sally and Silver, they tried really, really hard to try and calm Sonic down. And eventually it did work. <laughs> eventually it did work. Because let me just say, never mess with Sonic, this version of Sonic, when he's in his dark form. Never mess with him. Because trust and believe me, guys, uh, <laughs> You really don't want to mess with Silver whenever he's in his dark form. Oh, Lord. Ugh. Okay, well, anyway. Oh, wait, did I say Silver? I meant to say Sonic. Sorry, I meant to say Sonic. Okay, anyway, moving on to the next one. Because I'm over here stuttering on my words. Oh, Lord. Here we go with this one. Okay, um, here's the video where Sally and Silver, they were just chilling out. They were just chilling out camping, and then, and then they run into some old friends, or some, or some old pests. Yep, that's right, I'm talking about Fiona and Scourge. Yeah, let's just say, guys, they really, really don't like each other, especially Sally and Fiona. I mean, guys, we all read the comics, we all played games, well, yeah, we all read the comics, because clearly, guys, we all know that Sally and Fiona, they don't get along. Sally and Fiona, they do not get along. But anyway, here's how they don't get along. Because you see, Sally, she's upset at Fiona because of what happened with... Because, you know, he betrayed... Because she betrayed Sonic, you know. And not to mention trying to play with Tails' emotions. Because, guys, back in the comics, we all know that, you know, Tails did have a thing for Fiona. I mean, we knew that he did. But anyway, um, but anyway, yeah, this video was definitely crazy and insane. <laughs> they didn't fight or anything, but they did just trade insults. Oh my gosh, Silver and Scourge, I hate to say it, but they actually did try to work together and, uh, keep their lady friends calm and stuff. They tried to keep their lady friends calm. But, of course, Scourge, he really didn't hold back as much as Silver did. Because, trust me, <laughs> Silver, he really did try his best to hold Sally back. Trust me, he really did. But when it comes to Fiona and Sally, let's just say things go a little bit hazy. I mean, think about it. They were once friends, then they were enemies. And then, yeah. All right, well, anyway, let's get back to this. Anyway, let's get back to this, and let's move on to the next one. Okay, here we go. This one was definitely a little bit weird. This was when Sally first meets Werehog Silver. Now, she was a little bit freaked out at first. Not as, not as freaked out as Silver, because believe it or not, just like with Blaze... He was worried that, you know, they would see him differently. They re he was really worried that now that he has a werehog form, he doesn't really know how his friends would react. Because, hey, lots of people are used to seeing Sonic have a werehog form, but most people are not used to seeing Silver in it. Heck, and believe it or not, Blaze and Sally, they have never seen a werehog form before, so... Yeah, that was a little bit of a shock to them. But anyway, Sally, she was really concerned for Silver. I mean, it looked like that it hurt. It looked really uncomfortable being in a werehog form. Trust me, it does feel uncomfortable being in a werehog form. Because, you know, being all big and buff and really slow, that could really hurt. But anyway, um, Silver, he, he explained everything to her. Told him what, tell her what happened. And just like with Blaze, she understood. And she was willing to do whatever it takes to help him get through this process. Because, you know, what are good friends for? <laughs> okay, anyway, moving on to the next one. Okay, now this one was definitely really funny. <laughs> I really did like this one. This one was definitely really funny. This was when Silver decided to treat Sonic 
to some chili dogs. And when they get to the restaurant, they found all the chili dogs eaten by one person. And that would be Sonica, the female version of Sonic. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely really funny. But anyway, um, what else was really funny was that there was one chili dog left. There was one chili dog left. And get this, Silver, Silver really, really tried to prevent Sonic and Sonica from tearing each other apart over a chili dog, which is really stupid. Which is really stupid. I mean, dang, I know they actually love, I know they, I know they're Sonics and I know they love chili dogs, but dang, they're willing to tear each other apart over him? I mean, wow, it was just crazy. Anyway, uh, to end this fight, Silver had to do the next best thing when it came to the chili dog. He ate it. <laughs> and that, and Sonic, he really did understand why he did it, but Sonica, boy, was she mad. Boy, was she mad. But she didn't turn into a dark form, so don't worry, guys. But anyway, uh, <laughs> in a few more videos, let's just say she broke into Sil she broke into Shadow's house and to start a fight with Silver. That was definitely crazy. And again, I don't know why she broke into Shadow's house to uh, start a fight with Silver, but yeah, I honestly don't know why she did that. But anyway, let's continue on to the next one. Oh boy, okay, now this one was definitely really funny. I found this one really funny as well. This one was when Sonic first introduces his brother and sister, Manic and Sonya, to Silver. <laughs> Let's just say things got a little bit funny because both Manic and Sonya, they were both interested in him. Well, not like interested in him, interested in him, like interested in him. Like they really, really wanted to get to know him. Manic, he wanted to use, he wanted to see if Silver wanted to uh, join him in like a heist or something. And so and Sonya, let's just say she wanted him as a boyfriend. Ah, that was crazy. That was funny. Okay, but anyway, uh, but in the end, Silver, he explained to them that, you know, man, with Manic, he couldn't do that because that's wrong. And with for, and for Sonya... It's a little bit upsetting because, you know, <laughs> he explained to, he explained to her that she that he's already taken and already has a girlfriend and stuff. So, yeah, it's definitely insane. It was definitely really funny seeing them fight over Silver. That was crazy. I really felt bad for him. And Sonic, on the other hand, he was really, really trying to hold his siblings back. So, yeah, it was definitely really crazy and stuff. So. Yeah, you keep an eye out for this video, guys. It was definitely really funny. It was really, really funny. And not to mention that Sonya and Manic, they have never met anyone like Silver before. The only one out of Sonic's friends that they met was Knuckles. And that was way, way back in the Sonic Underground. That was way, way back. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the next one. Oh boy, now this one was definitely really wholesome. You see, Tails was really, really upset at because, believe it or not, the day that this video was uploaded was the day that we lost our beloved friend, Cosmo the Cedarin. We lost our beloved friend, Cosmo. And let's just say, Tails, he was really, really choking up about it. So what he did, so what they did was, was, um, they went to go find Tails and comfort him. Because we all know that Tails is going through a rough time, you know, dealing with the death of Cosmo. Yeah, because everybody knows that Tails secretly did have feelings for Cosmo. He just didn't know how to say it. He just didn't know how to tell her. Even during Sonic X, he didn't know how to tell her. Uh, man. But anyway, um... So, yeah, let's just say they actually did comfort Tails because he was going through a rough time, you know, trying to uh, get over Cosmo and just let her rest. And, you know, because like I said before, Tails, he really did have feelings for her and he didn't even get a chance to say he likes her a whole lot. He didn't get a chance to because, you know, she gone. Okay, but anyway... 
Uh, so yeah, that, yeah, to that version of Tails, may your Cosmo rest in peace, and don't worry, if you ever feel sad about her, don't worry, you got friends that can help you, okay? You got friends that can help you, because I know it is really hard to, uh, you know, go through this, trust me, I know what it feels like to lose a, a friend or a crush, trust me, I know, but it's okay. They may be gone physically, but they're not gone mentally. Remember that. They're not gone mentally. Their memories live on in each and every one of us. <sighs> and that was a little brief moment. Flame says. Ah. But anyway. Hey, that should, that should be a thing. Flame says. Just like what the Sonic says years ago. But anyway, yeah. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Okay. Now this one was definitely really... um. Interesting. This one was really interesting. Believe it or not, believe it or not, um, Silver, he has not been in Sonic Adventure, and Sonic Adventure, but he is starting to know the whereabouts of it, and believe it or not, he actually met to call the Echidna. He actually met to call the Echidna. <laughs> it was actually really good. He actually met to call, he, 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 she taught him all about the Master Emerald and everything, Showed him around the uh, Angel Island. Showed him around Angel Island and stuff. It was definitely really interesting. I'm not going to lie. It was definitely really, really interesting. And just to have Silver learn about the Master Emerald like that, it was definitely really cool. He was really weirded out at first and still confused to how the world he's talking to a ghost. Because, remember, to call is <laughs> dead. But anyway, um, she definitely is really, really helpful when it comes to the Master Emerald. She definitely is really, really helpful when it comes to that um, thing. But anyway, uh, yeah, Silver, he was still a little bit weirded out at first, but at least he made a new friend. At least he made a new friend. And not to mention, <laughs> and not to mention, to call, she was so nice. She was so nice to him. She was so nice. I mean, don't get me wrong, to call, she is always nice. She is always a nice person, but anyway, yeah, so let's just move on to the next one, because, uh, yeah, that's all I, uh, have to say for this one. Moving on. Oh boy, okay, so this one was definitely really great. I love this one. This was when Silver goes to the Chow Garden to see if his Chow was okay. And yes, he actually has a chow. Her name is Platinum. <laughs> and with some extra help from Cream, and with some extra help from Cream, when she when he actually met Cream in the chow garden, that was definitely really crazy. But anyway, yeah, she yeah, he actually ran into both Cream and Cheese in the chow garden, and he and she actually helped him out with his um chow and everything. Cuz Everybody knows that Cream, when it comes to Chow, she is an expert. She's an expert when it comes to Chow. Well, not that much of an expert because this is sort of like a part one to it. And believe it or not, part two was when, is when Silver first meets Vanilla. Because trust and believe me. The Silver, he has never met Vanilla before. He has never met Vanilla. So, yeah, it's definitely crazy. And you guys should definitely see the reaction that he had. You should definitely see the reaction that Silver had. It was definitely pretty funny. Oh, my gosh. Because, trust and believe me, the way he looked at Vanilla for the first time, he was like, oh, my gosh. And, no, guys, he was not falling in love with her. It was just for the fact that, you know, he, he actually, uh, wasn't ex he wasn't expecting, uh, Vanilla to be so, um, tall. Because, you know, most Sonic characters, we're like five inch, because we're like five inches, we're like five feet tall. We're actually like five feet, I think, or is it five inches, I think. I think it's five, I think it's five feet, yeah, yeah. Or four feet, I can't remember. But anyway, uh, but for Vanilla, I think she's like around um, six feet or seven feet. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> but anyway, but anyway, 
Yeah, Silver, he actually did thank Cream a whole lot for helping him with his chow and the chow eggs and everything. Taking care of the chow and the chow garden. Because, let me just say, that little bunny, she really does know about, know things about chow a whole lot. Anyway, moving on to the next video. Oh lord, okay, here we go again with this encounter. Guys, this was when Silver and Sally, they were just about to play a game of Sonic World. They were just about to play a game of Sonic World when all of a sudden trouble comes <laughs> and we are and her trouble and trouble's name is Fiona. And trouble's name is Fiona. Yep, that's right. And then the reason why she just busted in is because she needed a break from Scourge. Cuz hey, everybody knows that uh, Scourge is a bit of a dick. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit of a dick. I mean, why else do you think I'm trying to stop him from what he's doing out here? Uh, but anyway, but anyway, yeah, so the three of them, they actually did play Sonic World together. And believe it or not, Sally and Fiona, they started rekindling their old friendship. They started rekindling it. And soon after, they just started hanging out. By the way, Fiona, I got a quick question to ask you. During your little talk with, um, S with, um, Sally, you said, and I quote, Scourge is being so stupid, I'm thinking about leaving him. So my question is, why didn't you? I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody has been waiting for this, for you to leave Scourge, but nope, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. It didn't happen at all. Ugh. But, again, I'm not complaining. It's okay. Besides, it's just for entertainment. But anyway, uh, yeah, so... Fiona, Sally, and Skirt, and I almost called Silver Scourge. I meant to say Silver. They actually all played Sonic World together. And like I said, Sally and Fiona, they actually contend they actually rekindled their old friendship. They rekindled all the old memories that they had together during the Freedom Fighter days and stuff. And before, you know, she and you know, before um uh Fiona betrayed the Freedom Fighters. It was definitely really insane. But anyway, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so next up we have is um, Silver just chilling in his house. Then next thing you know, he has an encounter with his gender-bent self. With his gender-bent self, also known as Sylvia the Hedgehog. Yep, and let's just say he was a bit annoyed by her. Because she was just, because she was just popping up out of nowhere. And since she's new to the place, she mainly turns to Silver every now and then. She mainly turns to Silver because she, because Silver, he's been in that world longer than her. And so she turns to him just to help her out. Believe it or not, he acts just like a big brother towards her in some ways. She acts just, he acts just like a big brother towards her. And don't ever call him that, guys, because... He sometimes get annoyed by that in a way, but it's okay. But anyway, let's move on to the next one. Oh boy, okay, so this was when uh, Silver and Sylvia first go on Deviant Arts. And guys, newsflash, do not, and I repeat, do not introduce Deviant Art to somebody who doesn't really understand Deviant Art or what the heck Deviant Art is. Like, like, like they're fresh on DeviantArt, okay? Like they're fresh to DeviantArt. They have no idea what it is. They have no idea what's it about. Do not do that, okay? Do not do that. But Silver did it anyway. Silver did it anyway. Yeah, anyway, he just wanted to show Sylvia some fan art of her. And it's just inc incredibly insane. And soon they did find this picture right here that's on the thumbnail right here. Then they thought, oh no, people are starting to ship them together. People are starting to ship them together. And no, 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 because besides, besides guys, when it comes to pictures on DeviantArt, they can either be both good or bad, or they can actually mean something else. Like for example, this picture right here. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're a couple or something. It can just mean like, you know, they're just chilling. Like they're just um chilling or something. And it's cold out, and so Sylvia, she's cuddling up with Silver. 
yeah, you know. Or, you know, she's just really happy to see him. And they just met up, and so they're just, you know, chilling out. And so they're just chilling out. I mean, don't get me wrong with that. But anyway, uh, so, yeah, this is definitely crazy. <laughs> but anyway, moving on to the next one. Oh, Lord. Uh, I believe this is the last one. Yeah, it's the last one. This was when Silver first meets Sylvia. When they played a nice game of Would You Rather. Oh, my gosh. Now, that one was definitely really crazy. Because, believe it or not, Silver, he was not expecting to meet a female version of himself. I mean, he already met Shadina, who simped for him, by the way. He, she, he already met Sonica. He already met Sonica, but they were, but they were already cool from the start. And now he's meeting his gender-bent self. Which is just crazy. <laughs> I mean, guys, trust me. When the normal character meets the gender-bent version of himself, things could get a little bit weird. <laughs> things can get a little bit weird. Alright, guys. Well, that's it for this one. And also, I just want to say one thing before I sign off. Um, Silver, keep up the good work. You do an amazing job entertaining us. Keep it up. And... <laughs> And also, there's one other thing I got to say, guys. Um, not only does he voice Silver, but he also voices Movie Sonic every now and then. He also voices Movie Sonic. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys. I should have put some Movie Sonic things in here. I should have. I honestly don't know if I... Uh, I don't know. But anyway. Uh, so, yeah. If you guys... So guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment down below. And also, let me know in the comments down below which one of these videos did you guys like the most. And if you guys saw them. Also, if you guys want to check out these videos for yourself, I'll put the link down to Silver the Hedgehog's channel down in the description below. So that way, you guys can take a look at them and experience my experience for yourself. <laughs> Anyway, like I've been saying, Silver, you keep up the good work entertaining us as, you know, both Silver and Movie Sonic. You keep it up, okay? You keep this up. You keep this up, okay? Oh, and I also do apologize if I uh, didn't get to any videos that anybody was expecting for those of you guys who have seen it. But anyway, uh... Oh yeah, and one other thing, if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, so that way you guys will be up to date whenever I post. And also, again, Silver, good luck out there with some future stuff. Oh yeah, and uh, <laughs> hopefully in the past, maybe you and Blaze can make the, um, <clears throat> make the oo and, you know, not to mention, uh, you know, get hitched. Because, come on, think about it. You already gave her rings and stuff, so... Does that already count as an engagement? I don't really know if it does. But if it does count as an engagement, hey, it's only one step closer to, you know, her being Mrs. Silver the Hedgehog. And yeah, I know that name sounds weird, but yeah. Anyway, this is Flame the Dragonhog, signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers. <laughs>